what's going on everybody and welcome to my channel so today i'm doing a little bit something extra for you guys i did upload already today but that's okay i have been super excited to do this with you guys and i just couldn't wait any longer so today we are doing a shell challenge so in this video i create the whole shell and i design it myself so I'm gonna give you guys about a week to participate if you would like to participate so I can tour your builds. Um, if I need to wait longer, I will. There's no problem there. So yes, if you guys are interested, just make sure to use the hashtag EnchantingSimmer23, my YouTube channel name, of course, so that I can find it and I can just see what you guys do. So by the time you guys see this, I will have uploaded the shell and what I did with it. And then, yeah, you guys can download what I did with it if you would like to, and so on. So, yeah, this is me just saving it to my library, so don't mind this part. But um, I really would like, I would really like to do some shell challenges more often. So if you guys are interested and want to be like active on my channel and want to do a shell challenge so I can tour your builds, I will definitely do that. And I'm super happy about it. So yeah, and there's going to be speed builds coming. I haven't decided if I'm going to do it as a extra video or if I'm going to wait until next month to post it but we'll see um i have another idea for a speed build so i might be recording one of those too soon so i'm excited to where my channel's going and i would love to see you guys just hanging out with me and doing some speed some shell challenges not speed oh, i was gonna say speed builds see <laughs> so you guys doing some shell challenges Anyways, so when I did, when I was planning on doing a shell challenge, I stared at my computer for hours just trying to think of where to even start for a shell. Because when I do like my builds, I usually go off of like floor plans because I'm not really too good with like the off the top of my head kind of floor plan look. But this one actually came out a lot better than I expected it, so I'm super proud of myself. Um, yeah, here I was kind of confused with the roof, but then I was like, wait, I got this. But, yeah, so this one's kind of like e a lot easier than I feel like Little Simsies or Plumbella shells. Theirs are like extra, and you've got like crooked rooms and they're all like diagonal and oddly shaped so I wanted to start off easy of course I want to start at EVC first and then get harder as we go as I'm getting used to doing these shell challenges and I was thinking about doing I was I I was thinking of like not doing it like speed it up but then this took me like an hour and a half so I had to speed it up and it's kind of like a bigger floor plan it's I made this a four bedroom three bathroom house so yeah definitely needed that to speed it up because an hour and a half is just not something I was going for for a video yeah, I hope you guys are excited for what's to come on my channel because I'm really excited um, I'm not honestly too happy about the outside the siding and stuff I could have probably done something else and I definitely thought about it but I was like eh too late to go back now <laughs> don't want to spend too much time on it so definitely gonna get better as we go for sure 
can't wait to see what you guys create. And you guys can do anything you want. You could do a restaurant, whatever. Whatever you comes to mind when you see this shell for yourself. And it's the same kind of same rules apply. Don't touch the exterior walls. Don't shrink them. Don't make them bigger. You can add porches. You can add fences. Whatever you'd like. Um, floor plans all yours to do. Put walls wherever you want. Just don't mess up my walls. Um, yeah. So, anyways, um, what can we talk about for a quick 20 minutes? Um, well, first thing. If you guys recommend anything, if you guys want me to do any, like, have any, like, build challenges or anything that you guys would like to see me do, or that you think are fun and I could maybe, like, make a video out of it, let me know down in the comments because I'm always looking for some feedback because I don't really usually do build challenges because I'm just like, ah, I'm just going to go off the floor plan. I don't really want to do a build challenge. And... But I have done the Everyone's a Different Color. I have that video coming very soon for you guys. I've done the 10K Starter Home, which turned out so bad. It was not my finest work, but that will definitely be coming to you guys. I've done some renovations. I've done 20 minute builds because 20 minutes stresses me out already. I'm not ready for the 10 minutes. Not ready for the 10 minute build challenge. Not even gonna lie. But definitely, definitely would like some feedback from you guys. And what else? I know. Oh, and I've also done the Tetris build challenge, which is kind of interesting. And I do have more plans with that to come in the future. So I've done two of those. And my oven's going off because I'm making dinner. But wanted to record this because I'm super excited about it. I'm actually going to go turn the oven off really, really quick. All right, sorry about that. I had to pull my food out. I guess my food was done. So, yeah, but this is more important. Why am I important? Um, anyways, so also another thing. The interior didn't really come out how I would have liked for it to, but I also didn't want to spend, like I said, four hours on it. So I was just kind of like, oh, well, this is kind of like a simple, little simple family home. My speed build, I, I say, I'm pretty sure I say it in the, in the video, but that took me forever. It took me like four hours and I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah, it's crazy. It took me so long. And I'm super excited about the next speed build that I'm going to do because the house is absolutely gorgeous and I can't wait to try it. Hopefully I don't fail <laughs> at the build because it's kind of a little, it's a bit extra, but I'm excited for it. And if you guys have any questions about the challenge, let me know. But I'm sure you guys have done these before, so you guys kind of already know. You already know what you're doing, but if not, you can definitely ask me down in the comments and I'll answer. Um, you can mess with the terrain. I don't mind. You can do whatever you want to the terrain. That doesn't bother me. You just can't add a basement nor another floor. That's the only thing. Just have to stick with the two floors and that's it. <laughs> what else what other rules 
think I think I covered them all. But I don't know. Yeah, I think I covered them all. Um And there's no changing the wall size either. None of that. But yeah, just have fun with it. Do whatever you want. The flooring I really like from Eco Lifestyle. I really like it, but I feel like the interior design could have went a lot better. But like I said, didn't want to spend a whole lot of time. And also my son was sitting with me while I was... Um, decorating the house because he was like I want food, I want food, I was like okay and he was helping me helping me kind of pick stuff out so I'm like oh which one do you like do you like this one? and he's like yeah I'm like well what about this one? he's like yeah I'm like well how about this one? he's like yeah so he kind of just said yeah to anything I said I was like well thanks You're great help I was like well should we do this color? he's like yeah I was like is this one better? he's like yeah I'm like you know how to say no. <laughs> so, he picked the floor. He saw the blue and he's like, blue, blue. So, the bathroom tile was all him. <laughs> so I, I couldn't say no to him. Um, that's him in the background right now. I'm fairly certain you can hear him. He's asking my dog to help him get on the bed. <laughs> it's kind of funny because he knows how to get on the bed and Ruby's just my dog she's staring at me and he just literally just like Ruby help and he just gets up on the bed by himself and like you're a dork but yes um if you guys want to see a shell challenge like every week or so or every other week definitely let me know and I can do more of them or if you want to see speed builds every week or however many times just let me know because i have a lot of content already recorded for you guys <laughs> he's so distracting i have a lot recorded so if you guys want to see something specific like i can post the usual like the 100 baby to the not so very legacy challenge and whatnot i can do that I can do some speed builds and some shell challenges. I can do that with you guys. I could do, I could just do whatever you guys are interested in and want to see me do. So if you guys have any ideas, I'm definitely open to taking some ideas. And I did this. I was like, oh my gosh, these beds are so cute. I love them for kids. And then I went to go place the boy ones in the boy room that I made. Um come to find out that it's a toddler and I didn't even notice it I was just like oh it's cute I want it so yeah I'm kind of disappointed about that because those beds are really cute and I think I would actually like that as a kid like what the heck so yeah that was like a big old fail on my part I was like well I'll just use it for the toddler anyways because I like it <laughs> I'm obsessed I'm up I'm like I said this before in when I did the nift like the can I get rich by knitting which you guys will see because I think I'm gonna be posting this I think the day that I'm recording this I'm gonna to post it so don't mind me but um, eco lifestyle actually kind of really like it but I want to play with it more before I go into like oh my gosh it's the best pack ever but definitely like the build items and the hairs and the outfits and stuff so those are fun to mess around with and I don't always really do blue and pink rooms it's kind of like a last resort to gotta get it done do a blue room do a pink room I kind of like to keep it kind of neutral because you know some people like to change the colors and what the color schemes themselves so but yeah definitely gonna practice my interior decor a lot more but I just could not wait to do this with you guys so I was like gotta do it and this is kind of just like 
an eco-friendly ha like a whole household like they're just like oh we care about the planet and plants all over the house and whatnot so yeah I'm honestly surprised I even figured out how to get this to work because I honestly tried to do this so many times and fingers crossed that it worked this time but I've been trying to record it and it's been like honestly making me emotional like why can't I get this to work so yes I got it I finally got it oh this these pictures drove me insane I was like I'm just gonna leave it and I was like you know what no I can't leave it it bothers me too much like I wouldn't say I'm OCD per se, but that drove me nuts. I was like, I have to fix this. I can't just upload this to the gallery in it. I can't do people like that because if it's messing with me, it's going to mess with y'all. And I ain't about that. So, and I, I, I swear, these are like my main bathroom build items I use a jacuzzi because I want a jacuzzi so bad like a little bathtub jacuzzi I need it I need it in my life my mommy's so let me quick funny story my mom really wanted a bathtub jacuzzi in her bathroom she was like oh I've gotta have it and if I don't have it, like, she was, like, she had to have it. Funny thing is, she only used it, like, once herself. I was like, what the heck? It's going to waste. So, I ended up using it growing up. And I was just like, okay, I'll just use it. And, like, now to this day, I'm pretty sure I had my brother or somebody put a hole in the side of the tub. So, now she really doesn't use it. I'm just like, what a waste. It's such a nice tub, and it's so relaxing, and you just don't use it, and you wanted it so bad. Oh. It's, it's funny, <laughs> I swear. Because I, I'm just like, well, if I want something in my house, I'm going to use it for sure. For sure. See, this is where I, I was like, I figured out the mistake. I was like, man. So now I'm sitting here trying to pick a bed. I'm just like, well, guess the girls are just going to have white beds. There's no pink for this one for whatever odd reason. I really wish. Could have, should have made the boys share a room. And then the girl want to like just have one girl. But. I always do it that way, so I was like, might as well let the boy have his own room for once, for once in his life. And I, I just realized I put all the toddler stuff in, didn't put a toddler seat, nor a high chair. Shame on me, but honestly, I don't use them anymore. I'm just like, eh, you need to learn how to use the bathroom. Not in this house. You need to sit up at a high chair to eat not in this house you can just grab your food and go because high chairs drive me insane especially when i like make food for them and i tell the toddler to go eat it and my sim wants to go and pick them up and carry them over to the high chair i'm like put my toddler down right now before you get it taken away because it's super hungry and I just told you to go eat, and now you just made the whole interaction clear because you wanted to pick him up. Happens a lot in my 100 Baby Challenge. I'm like, we don't even have high chairs, and you're picking your toddler up for what? So I just ended up locking the toddler room. I was like, only one in allowed in and out are the toddlers because you're driving me insane. <laughs> so, yeah. I hope you guys are, like, like, enjoy... I mean, not even watching this, but, like, kind of enjoyed how it turned out because I was scared. 
I was real scared. And that picture drove me crazy too. I was like, eh, maybe they won't notice. Let's just keep going. But I'm gonna call that out on my part because I was just like, nope, already fixed the other one. Gotta, gotta keep moving. Because I knew, I knew I was gonna have to like try to shorten that down into 20 minutes. And I just didn't think it was gonna go well. I always use these countertops. I don't know if you guys have seen my other builds from if you found me from the Facebook page or if you found me from just searching Sims. You can check me out on the gallery at Mrs. Decker123. I'm always using these counters. I swear I'm obsessed with them. I don't know what it is, but I just think they look so nice. The only thing I don't like are the little like safe looking knobs on the islands you know like I don't like it like can it just be straight like the back of the counter and not just you know have things that you can open and let your toddlers get into because that drives me insane my sims can't open them but the toddlers can go and play in them it drives me crazy I'm like because I put like sometimes I put like the counters in the bathroom to make them look all nice and they're playing with pots and pans in the bathroom I'm like Listen, that's not even supposed to be where they're at, but since I had to use kitchen counters, you're, you're killing my vibe here. You're killing my vibe. Oh, did I forget? I'm going to laugh at myself if I forgot to put a rug in the dining room. I'm pretty sure I did because there's only like two minutes left of this video. I didn't put a gosh darn rug in the dining room and I always do shame on me what a fail don't mind me don't mind me here <laughs> laughing at my own mistakes oh wow fail fail mm -mm -mm. I'm just shaking my head right now myself like how could you do that you always put a rug Literally, I never put a rug in front of the door, and I put one this time, but I couldn't do it in the dining room? Uh -huh. How does that make sense? I don't know, but, you know. Uh, yeah, I, I, I swear, sometimes when I'm placing stuff, I'm really OCT about it, like, nope, not okay. Not okay. And I was just going to keep going. I was just going to leave those, not even change the color, and I was like, wait those don't match I gotta change that I'm something special you guys I'm a special but anyways I don't want to get cut off while I do my outro so thank you all so much for watching make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe to support my channel and check out my builds on the gallery if you want and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with this shell and I can't wait to do more with you guys. So I will, I'll be watching, keeping an eye out. I don't know how many houses I'm gonna do at the moment. So stay tuned for that, but I will see you all in the next video.